I'm tired of lying, sneaking and hiding, and low class places. I'm kind. Hey, grandbaby, how you doing? What's up with you? Hey, you guys, say hi. Say hi, everybody. Hi, everybody. All right. Go ahead. All right, you guys, you know, I've been sitting up here watching some international news. First of all, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, family. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the mental house with me, your host, Khadija. I'm going to take my time um, to do this because this is very serious. And for those of us who love America, those of us who are fed up with America, those of us who have been mistreated in America, the end of the day is if they bomb America, if we haven't gotten out yet, we're going to be in trouble too, right? So good or bad, we stuck in this freaking badass marriage. I'm talking about um, ADOS people, okay? So with that being said, you know, it's important that the arrogance and the pompousness of the elite European comes to an end. And it's time. Unfortunately, I'm here. But is if you can smell it, you should be able to. And if you've got very good wisdom. And I know most black people are able to, because we operate off, most of us, on a spiritual compass. If we're not all bugged out, we operate off a whole different stimulus than they do, right? We're people of the sun. They're people of the climate. Okay? So already our natures, co they, don't, they don't coexist with one another very well. One tries to preserve life and be one with it. One tries to pick it apart and destroy it. And it's just that simple. If you follow the history of the European, when he came down from Europe, because he, he had d just obliterated the environment, it was stanking, it was plague, it was disease, and all that came from them. So it took the Moors to show them how to clean up, get out of the bed with the animals, how to take a bath. All these things that Ron DeSantis feels is best for y'all not to know. You don't want... The fragility of white people is that they can't handle their history. But they want everybody else to handle theirs. In fact, even when they're lying on them. And the... The unbelievable part now is that I remember Charles Manson because I I love humanity. And when my brother any or my sister speaks the truth, it doesn't matter what skin they in for me. I just know it's truth. And it's a truth postulate and I can agree with him. Charles Manson said that, um, well, I agreed with half of what he said. He said that the, the white man is going to get himself in a, in a position where he's not going to be able to control and deal with the browning of America. And this is not what he said verbatim, but this is pretty much what's happening now. And the black man is going to take his rightful place. Because you're going to have to kill us all at this point. And... Because I believe you are the sons of Solomon, you are not the songs, you might split the baby down the middle. However, you won't have nowhere to go because China and Africa are uniting. Russia and they're all teaming up against America. And that's not a coincidence, y'all. Those of y'all who have served in the military, why don't you tell the truth? Tell the truth as I see you in the VA line and half of y'all being mistreated, especially the Vietnam vets. 
And when I hear y'all stories, tell the truth. What you feel about defending democracy for America, and especially the black soldiers, and then come back to your own states and cities and don't have any freedom there. That's why you didn't, Muhammad Ali refused to go. Right? So what is happening now is America for the last hundred years, have they don't have any intention of doing what they said they was going to do on paper. When Thomas Jefferson wrote those elegant, beautiful words about we hold these truths to be self-evident, they ain't planning on doing none of that. They just knew they said a bunch of sh shit, and they never worried about it. They And in the future generation, because they had come off the same loins as these individuals, they don't understand that you, nothing, no lie can live forever. And you can try to take black people out your history books. You can try to uh, minimize our building of America. But there is a day of reckoning for every thief. Just like you do when you put us in jail, even though we're only 13% of the population but we are the majority of people in jail. Are you trying to convince people that we are inherently bad? Because I'm certain you wouldn't tell the truth and is that you're inherently corrupt and rotten from the inside out. And this might be your last time this might be the last big one for those of y'all who going to survive it because the white man's reign is about over with. People are tired. It's like that Erica Badu song. I'm getting tired of your shit. Except we tired of your shit. As a matter of fact, I wanted y'all to hear the president of uh, one of Gambia and, and, and Chinese representative and actually they're having a conversation about the hypocrisy of American and all the human rights violations against black Americans yet and still they want to police the whole world and they are corrupt themselves they send Haitians back but they send billions of dollars to the Ukraine and let them come over here the racism and the stink of their hypocrisy is not to be tolerated anymore. Nobody wants to tolerate it. We've been put in a situation where we've been forced to. But you see every day that these, what y'all want to call, some of y'all call them Karens, but the arrogance and the pompousness of a people who have been misguided to think that they have been better than everybody else on the planet, even though nine-tenths of the world's population is of color, black, y'all is just a small little piece, and your arrogance have gotten you thinking that you better than, everybody is less than, only because the people that you conquered came were there in peace. They wasn't even tripping like that. It was y'all who was tripping like that. So, those days, just like you tell your American criminals or your people that you put in jail unjustly when they haven't committed any crimes, what do you think is going to happen to you when God put the wrath down on all the injustice and all the lies and all the mayhem that you've kicked up on the planet? All the wars, the rumors of wars, all the killing, the great bloodshedder is what you've been on the planet. And I want y'all to hear this real good because this is that conversation. And I think it's very important because people sick. They sick and tired of this. Thank you for speaking with us, uh, Doctor. Uh, let's start with you know democracy or your understanding of democracy. Is it the end or is it the means to something concrete? 
it can never be an end. It's a means to something much more important to a human being. It's much more a means to the happiness of a human being, to the welfare of a human being, to all those things that constitute a dignified life of a human being. Access to food, access to housing, access to clean water, access to health services, access to education, national sovereignty in the country which that individual lives, national honor, all those things constitute democracy. If you look at uh, the, for example, the coverage of China in the Western press or in remarks by Western officials, in particular U.S. officials, they often refer to China as the biggest you know, or top challenge or biggest threat to the U.S. existence. How do you understand that kind of allegation or criticism? You can understand why they are worried about like, a country like China. Because China is working in the opposite direction to them. China is working to free other people and free itself from being plundered, from being humiliated. This is the country that has, the USA is a country that has thrived, survived, prospered from slave trade, cross-Atlantic slave trade. They enslaved the Africans for centuries. They plundered the resources of Latin America, the resources of Africa, the resources of Asia. They plundered even the resources of Europe. This is a country, if plunder today, exploitation of other people is removed, the USA will not be the powerful country that it is today. If there's equality in the dealings with each other, the USA ceases because it doesn't know how to deal with other people on an equal basis with other nations on an equal basis. It gets lost. It's worried today with the mountain. For a world that is emerging, because its hegemonic interests are being threatened. It's not China per se. It's the interests of the Americans that are being threatened with a world that is more equal that is more fair, that is more just. They can't survive in that world because their methods of existence are based on plundering other nations, on humiliating other nations, on exploiting other nations. Well, a related question, uh, I would say, I would cite is, you know, the Chinese efforts to broker, uh, you know, basic a peace deal for Saudi Arabia and Iran to resume their diplomatic ties. And then you see the Chinese efforts to create uh, some conditions uh, for peace or for ceasefire between Russia and Ukraine in this Ukraine crisis. But then if you look at the reaction or response from the U.S. side, uh, you know, they try to dismiss uh, the Chinese efforts or belittle the Chinese efforts as something else. Why is that kind of response? You know, the Chinese efforts basically have been welcomed by the rest of the world. You know, people see that as very positive, more peace, more stability in the Middle East, more reconciliation. What's wrong with that? A world that is peaceful is not suitable for the United States because it prospers from conflict. It sets one humble nation against the other. It does not help to remove conflicts. It always creates conflict. When you look at the conflicts that have existed in the world since 1776, when the USA was formed, the USA usually has a hand in it. it was, when it doesn't have a hand in it, it doesn't work to resolve those conflicts. It works to perpetuate those conflicts because it thrives from conflict. It benefits from conflicts. Famous example is the military industrial complex in the US they certainly welcome conflicts and wars so they can you know, sell weapons, ammunition, and make a profit out of that. Yes, and they are also linked to the media. They are linked to the politics. They are the sponsors of the politicians. So they have to find conflict, 
every year the U.S. publish, you know, human rights record on every country but itself. Uh, what do you make of that? You know, some people would accuse the U.S. of using uh, the so-called human rights to interfere in the internal affairs of other countries, in particular the countries they are not happy with or they see as rivals. What do you make of that? The pious arm of human rights that the USA waves all the time is hypocritical. This is the country that has invaded other countries, killing so many people, including children. This is the country that has appropriated the resources of other countries, leaving those countries helpless. Look at Iraq today. 20th anniversary of... 20th anniversary. What is happening to the Iraqi oil money? When Iraq sells oil, all the money goes to the USA. Iraq today is a colony of the USA. This is the country that occupies other countries' territories. Look at what they did to Saddam Hussein. Look what they did to Muammar Gaddafi in Libya. Look at what they do to other people's leaders. Look even at the attitude, the arrogance towards other people. They never respect the leaders of other countries. How many coup d'etats have they carried out? How many assassinations of leaders of other countries have they carried out? How many citizens of other countries have they killed? How many citizens of other countries have they arrested and detained and released without charges? You know, in addition to the lack of respect for sovereignty or abuse of human rights, what about the record of the human rights and human rights record inside the USA? Look at the treatment of black people. George Floyd? Yes. And when did black people start voting in America? The USA became independent in 1776. When did black people who were taken there against their will when were they given the right to vote? It's not very long ago. Can you claim equal rights for black people in America? Go to American jails today. The majority of the inmates are black people. In a country where the blacks are a minority, but in prison they're the majority. Why? Are black people generally bad people? Is there something that can be done about that? When a, a black person votes in America, who is he voting for? When a black person is eating in America, who is eat, he eating for? In whose mouth does he put food? It's not, he's not putting food in Biden's mouth. But when it comes to vote, he's voting for Biden. So the vote matters because he's going to Biden. The food doesn't matter because he's going into that poor black person's mouth. It's more than human rights issue, it's a racism. Yes, they are racist. Part of the hatred for China is racism. They cannot accept that a country that is not... This $40 filtration device is the last air purifier you'll ever buy. The 40 pounds of... Not, that is non-white can surpass them economically and in so many areas of human achievements, in human, of human endeavor. They can't accept that. They don't hide their intentions. That's the goodness with them. They say it very clearly. It's either you are with us or not with us. What does it mean to be with them? To be with them means to do their will, to live according to their will, to their dictates. When they say jump, you jump. Then you're with them. If you don't, you're not with them. These summits are there to divide the world. You cannot build a future world that is peaceful, that is fair, that is just, that is humane, without respect for others. And here we are talking about maximum respect for others. Equality and respect. Yes. We are diverse. It's not by accident that we have so many languages, we have so many cultures, we have so many traditions on this planet. Even songs, we sing so many different songs. 
Even in dances, we have so many different dances. Are they in conflict with each other? If you dance different from the way I dance, is there a conflict? <laughs> if you sing a different song from the one I That's sing, natural. is it different? Doesn't that add to the beauty? They say in the Garden of Eden, there were so many different plants, so many different flowers, but they existed in harmony with each other. They added to the beauty of the, the, uh, the Garden of Eden. If in uh, nature's creation, things were ordered that way, who are we not to accept that diversity? Harmony in diversity. Yes. What y'all think about that? Mm, who can argue with that? What sane and rational human being can argue with that? God didn't make one race to take over and have subjugated all the other races unto them. That's a white man's thinking. And he has subjugated everybody and think all over the world and think that he can keep on dominating people by force by brute, by making and, and hiding behind a bunch of weapons and destroying other people's country and stealing the same things they put you or I in jail for. I mean, think about it. If you black or brown or you poor white, you, you, you in trouble in this country. No poor white man would be able to maneuver and um, navigate the way Donald Trump is doing. That just doesn't happen. So there's this elite class. There's this European, you know, hypocrite, hypocrite that thinks that the whole world doesn't see him for who he really is. That's why when I first started this channel, I talked about it. I said, America, an American, the soil of it breeds narcissists. The country was started on narcissism. These people got slaves working for them and got the nerve to be sitting up there making elegant words like, these, we, we hold these truths to be, what the hell, you don't hold nothing. How can you sit there and say, all this stuff you saying and you got slaves. Thomas Jefferson, what the hell are you doing? You screwing a little kid and giving her babies. And all that's okay with us? I mean, as a society, it's like, where's all the sane and rational white people? And are there any left? Are there any? Where's the ones that come from the loin of John Brown? Or the loins of maybe a father Grappi? Or some other, uh, uh, Viola Luso. Where, where is some of the freedom fighters that come from the loins of individuals like that? Because those of y'all who get it, I honor you. But the black and brown world, and I'm not saying that everything with China is hunky-dory. But what I am saying is when they double team and triple team and begin to um, put themselves in a position of power. So you got Russia, China, and Africa, and already the, you see the dollar going down. Can't you see the writing on the wall? Can't you smell the extinction in your nostrils? And then what's going to happen is you destroying the country from within because we getting real right now with all the racism and the black and white and the hatred. So we getting real right for a massive takedown. And it's just like Marion, um, uh, Marie Antoinette. Let them eat cake until they had to behead the bitch. America is on a rocket ship to hell and it can't be stopped at this point. The only thing can replace her madness is equality and justice and she can't help it because white fragility and the browning of America 
is too much for her fragile mind to take. And that's why I said the founders of this country did a very great in service disservice to you. You don't even know how to make a meal for under a dollar. Ask black folk how to make a meal with a dollar. Huh? See, you know, <laughs> this country is going to have a day of reckoning. And unfortunately, those of us who are stuck in it is just going to go down with the ship. And it's really just that simple. See, that's why, because I, I can't defend myself against nothing unless it comes up in my backyard. I would never leave this soil to go fight anything in any unjust war for this country because they didn't promise me a bag, a few trinkets. I come back, no leg, no arm, half a spleen, and now my offspring out here begging. I got my wife out here or my husband out here begging for to get my veterans check. Y'all better wake up. Well, I thought that was very interesting to hear the conversation between um, some diplomats from um, China and Zambia. And for us to hear how the big hypocrisy that goes on is not going to be tolerated. It's not going to be tolerated. All right, you guys, if you like what you hear, please like, subscribe, and share it to the channel. Uh, shoot me up, hit me up with a link. And, if, and, and let me know your thoughts about what you think about this. You think America's day is a number? And you think her, do you think that she's going to replace a, a world with white supremacy with justice and equality? Or you think it's going to be like silent, they're going to split the baby down the middle? And leave your comment below. Thank you for listening.